Do you think it'd be like kind of funny if I made this club like, hey, come on down to the feet club or something? Yeah, but like feet club, that could be taken the wrong way. Well, what else could I do? Boredom drives people to interesting places. And in this case, it found me in first period chemistry class and drove me to the idea shop where I picked out a shiny new idea. Admittedly, I've had better ideas, like not creating a club centered around toenails, but alas, this idea was going to see fruition. And so, I set out on my journey to create a fake club. Surely this could only end well. There are three main aspects a club needs to exist. A time, a place, and a subject. I had my subject, now I just needed my time and place. I thought room 339 of my school would be a good place to host this club, seeing as room 339 doesn't exist. And for the time, I thought it should be sooner than later, so the date was set for tomorrow at lunch. Now, the club is good and all, but it's pretty boring if no one else knows that it exists. So I needed advertisements. Online ads were too expensive, and for some reason radio stations didn't want to host anything about toenails. So I decided to go old fashioned and make some flyers. I'll let you look at it for a second. Alright, that's enough. But with flyers, you need a place to put them up. So I thought, what better place than my school? I'm sure they wouldn't mind. I strategically placed each poster to be in a different high traffic area of the school, so I would receive maximum exposure with minimal flyers. And with that, the stage was set, and one could only wonder what show awaited behind the curtains. First impressions of the club were overwhelmingly positive. People responded with words of joy, praise, excitement. One keen-eyed individual even spotted that I had horribly massacred the spelling of Shrek. As a matter of fact, in this time, two other clubs shut down just hours after mine was announced. According to them, the pressure of competing with my club was just too immense. The club was growing in popularity, partly due to how amazing it was, and partly due to the fact that everyone was sharing it on social media. I had people across town talking about my club. And, just as it was all at its highest, Fate swiped the ladder out from underneath my feet. Reed? Yes? The vice principal would like to see you in her office. Psychology Central defines betrayal as one of the most painful human experiences. Discovering that someone we trusted hurt us pulls the reality rug out from under us. In the moments I had walking to the main office, I couldn't help but feel betrayed. Within one day, I had managed to trek the trail of success, and yet somehow, I'd slip back down to the bottom of the mountain. Of course, I didn't mention that I had only cost the school about one cent in paper and ink, and figured I'd just take my two-day detention. What did I learn those two days in the slammer? Nothing. I, I learned nothing. And that's where the story should end, anticlimactically. But that was two months ago, and recently, I've had a hankering for toenails.